Welcome to this editorial for Journalism Studies. Volume 14, number 2, is focused on the theme of cosmopolitanism and the new news media. And in this special issue of Journalism Studies, guest editors Lily Chuliraki from the London School of Economics and Bolet Blagard from City University London host an important conversation between a distinguished group of scholars and academics about the impact of new media in reshaping journalism. Their central concern is with the question of how technology and power are reconfiguring the cosmopolitanizing potential of journalistic reporting, where cosmopolitanism refers to an orientation of openness towards distant others that relies on technological mediation so as to raise the moral imperative to act on those others in the name of common humanity. The emergence of new digital media and the increasingly widespread practices of citizen journalism, which secure the intervention of what Chuliarchy calls ordinary voices into journalism, exemplified by the Arab Spring, the Haitian earthquake and the rebellion in Syria, have foregrounded the significance of these debates about the cosmopolitan efficacy of journalism today. Following the editor's introduction, there are essays by distinguished scholars Peter Dahlgren, Natalie Fenton, Bolette Blagard, Mervi Panti, Feng Chia, Simon Cottle, Mika Madianu, and Lily Chuliaraki. Each essay focuses on a particular aspect of cosmopolitanism, although it would be difficult to unpick their distinctive address in the short editorial. All are worth reading, but let me mention two of them. First, Murphy Panty's fascinating essay on national media and global images explores journalists' uses of photographs and video as text, or what she terms global citizen images, which are embedded in Finnish print and broadcast coverage of the Arab uprisings and the Japan tsunami disaster, thereby enabling the construction of cosmopolitan imagination. Second, the bonus to be derived from reading Peter Dahlgren's essay, Online Journalism and Civic Cosmopolitanism, Professional v. Participatory Ideals, is not simply that this is an intellectually challenging essay, but that it offers, by example, a masterclass in drafting eloquent and articulate scholarly work. It's hard to think of anything better I've read in many, many years. In some, I believe these issues, these essays make a substantial contribution to academic discussion of journalism studies, but also help to clarify policy debates concerning the moral and political legitimacy of particular interventions. I am as ever grateful to the reviewers, Professor Zizi Papacharisi, University of Illinois, Urbana, Champaign, USA, and Professor Stephen J. Ward from the University of Wisconsin-Madison for their helpful and illuminating comments on earlier drafts of all the papers published here. Enjoy Journalism Studies, Volume 14, Number 2. I'll be back.